with errands to run, jobs to go to, household duties, etc., etc. I just wanted to impose on you this morning to take some time to slow down. Be intentional and allow some time with the one who created you, who loves you, and longs for you to give your undivided attention to him. Good morning, guys. So I just wanted to come really quickly and just share uh, something that I read from my Bible plan that I started yesterday. This particular devotional plan is called Soul Rest. Um, it's on the Bible version app, Bible version, Bible U version app. For anyone that's interested, uh, you just go to plans on that app and they have numerous list of plans and you can kind of search for ones that are like what you are interested in. And um, it's just a good way, like a lot of people will say, well, I don't know what to read in the Bible or where to start. These plans are helpful because it kind of will help get that ball rolling. So again, the plan I have is for seven days and it's called Soul Rest. And the particular title for this particular reading for today is called Keep Still. In our fast-paced culture, we are constantly in motion. Whether it's our always packed calendar, always racing mind, or always connected technology, we aren't very good at resting. At the root, many of us are consumed with working, performing, and longing to earn respect, position, authority, value, and love. Whether we attempt to receive these things from people or God, this striving causes us to become tired, so tired. The only way that we can begin a journey toward rest is to give ourselves permission to stop. Today, take some time to find a quiet few moments of solitude. Preferably, it will be a time that you intentionally set aside for the purpose of being still. It would be optimal if you could go to a location that you consider restful and spend about 10 minutes alone. I think 10 minutes is a reasonable amount of time to hope for. Do this without the aid of technology or means that have the potential to interrupt you. If stepping away isn't possible in your day, find a way to create stillness in the midst of your regular flow. Drive in silence to or from work. Sit alone with no phone interaction during lunch. The key in all of this is to not allow anything to populate the time that you have set aside to be quiet and still. But word of caution, there will be a temptation to minimize the importance of being still. But I want to encourage you to be vigilant. Note what is happening in your mind and your heart as you engage this time of quiet stillness.